welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids been able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division III, Division II, or Division I level.
I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School basketball fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from Bulldog Country, New Haven High School, right so outside of Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of SummitCitySports.com. Thomas Nolan on the camera. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. We have an outstanding matchup out of conference for the Northeast 8's New Haven Bulldogs trying to get their first win of the season. They're going to be taking on the 1-0 Blackhawk Christian Braves. Blackhawk Christian ranked number three in Class 2A. They are a 1A enrollment school, and they are playing up in Class 2A due to the success factor, and they are the reigning 2A state champions from a year ago. Now the Caleb First era is no longer here at Blackhawk Christian under Mark Davidson, and it's going to be interesting to see as we already had a good start uh, in the beginning of the week on Tuesday as we saw him take on Northside and Tay Tay Johnson in that win. So it's going to be an outstanding matchup tonight to see Blackhawk Christian and their how they produce how they produce and get to this next level in class two way they are absolutely loaded squad as I'll talk about and it starts with the point guard right, coming right in 6'4 junior Gage Sefton his handles have absolutely multiplied over the offseason, he looked like a top point guard in the Northeast Indiana area as a junior on Tuesday against Northside. This kid is absolutely tremendous, shooting the rock, getting to the cup as well, and will put the pressure on the defense to get those foul calls against the other squad. Watch for Caleb First's younger brother, Josh First, make a name for himself in his first game. Nearly a double-double for Josh First, 6'6", junior, along with Gage Sefton. That one-two combo high-low is pretty tremendous. Josh First has outstanding footwork in the paint on either block and is a force down low. So watch for Gage Sefton and Josh First. Coming in is Jake Boyer, a tremendous player. Jake Boyer, uh, kind of the X factor for Blackhawk Christian. Real strong senior, committed to play baseball at in the NAIA level, but an outstanding basketball player you'll see in Jake Boyer. He's always going to be the strongest kid on the floor. Then you look at the junior, Jimmy Davidson. J Jimmy Davidson, uh, another son of head coach Mark Davidson. Seems like every year there's at least one Davidson kid on this roster. This Jimmy Davidson, very, very lanky, uh, long, is, is kind of in the length of his older brother, Frankie Davidson, uh, but he's an outstanding basketball player as well, and I think just scratching the surface for his head coach and father in Mark Davidson. For the New Haven Bulldogs, as I mentioned, they started 0-2, but their, con their start has been tough in the Northeast 8 Conference. They started their season with a matchup against one of the best players in Northeast Indiana and Joe Reddy and the Woodland Warriors. They did lead a lot of that game, but did fall to the Warriors here at home, 67-65. And then their second game on November the 30th as they hosted Jalen Jackson and the Northrop Bruins. They lost that one 61-51. They got out to like an 18-19-2 start to that ball game. 
with Northrop just battling back throughout the whole, whole way. But this New Haven roster is loaded. It's their time this year, and I think those first couple losses will only propel them to their future and what they can potentially be here for New Haven in Bulldog Country. It starts, of course, with the big fella, the inside-out player, Jakar Williams, dropped 28 in his first game. This kid is an absolute specimen on the athletic field, whether it's on football or here on the basketball court. Kid is absolutely tremendous and super, super strong. Watch for him tonight against Blackhawk Christian. And, of course, younger brother of Keon Brooks Jr., the junior at Kentucky, who's having an outstanding junior year. Go check the stats. He's progressed every single year since his freshman year is Darion Brooks. Darion Brooks added some strength in the offseason. His handles are outstanding. And what I love about Darion Brooks so much is his unselfishness. He has a great high IQ basketball-wise and tremendous vision when he's looking out on the floor for to get his teammates involved. Darion Brooks is an inside-outside player, hits the three, can dunk it in your face as well. Darion Brooks is a tremendous prospect here in the junior class, as you'll see a couple on Blackhawk Christian as well. So head coach Bruce Stevens starting 0-2 here with the Bulldogs and looking for their first win, but it's not going to come easy because this Blackhawk Christian squad led by Gage Sefton, I'm telling you what, they look very, very capable of going back-to-back -back in 2A as a 1A school. This is a statement here that Blackhawk Christian's trying to start in the beginning of their season as they start with Northside. Then had, head to New Haven right here. Lafayette Central Catholic, Canterbury, Chelsea. But they'll play 80% of the Summit Athletic Conference and a ton, if you look at their schedule, a ton of 4A squads and 3A squads. Coach Mark Davidson prepares his kids for that state title run. And you'll see it here in game number two of the season under head coach Mark Davidson in his ninth year, 175 and 50, folks. 175 and 50. Bruce Stevens in his eighth year, great numbers as well. 104 and 71 in his eight years here at New Haven High School. So we're about a minute away. We're excited to be here. here Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play, -play, my third and final broadcast, mine at least, of the season, excuse me, of the week, as I'll be heading to Michigan tomorrow morning as my daughter plays always 100 basketball and she's got a tournament up in Chelsea, Michigan. So. Final one for today. I think we have four games on the schedule tomorrow. A ton of girls action and I think just one boys games tomorrow. But you can check all that out on SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And, of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the Holiday Hoops Basketball Development Camp put on by Bernard Hollins and Always 100 Basketball. Register at always100basketball.com. Questions, go ahead and contact 260-446-3251. Morning sessions, $50 for four days, 9 to 11. Also 50 bucks per the four days for four to six for four sessions. Or all eight sessions for $90. All taken on at Sport One Fieldhouse. Go ahead and check out register always100basketball.com. Well, at Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. So we're going to take a break and come back with the starting lineups right here live. Nope, we're going to stay right here because the band is going to serenade us with the Star Spangled Banner. So we're going to stay right here as the flag is dropped here at New Haven High School. What a tremendous venue it is here in Bulldog Country. A couple years ago got a nice re, uh, redo and renovation here in the gym and the auxiliary gyms. This is Armstrong Arena, and they are super proud of it here at New Haven High School. So now, let's stand for our national anthem.
What an outstanding rendition of the Star Spangled Banner here by the New Haven Pet Band sitting right behind us here at New Haven High School Armstrong Arena. We are set for our starting lineups. Let's go ahead and send it down to our PA announcer for those right here. And now for the New Haven Bulldogs, they're going to drop the lights. And now, the Bulldog Country. Ladies and gentlemen, starting lineups are in the books. We are ready and set for an outstanding matchup we're about to see here tonight. Blackhawk Christian in the yellows and New Haven in the whites with the purple letters and trim. Your starters for Blackhawk Christian, number 13, Josh First, 23, Jimmy Davidson, 24, Lewis Jones, 30, Gage Sefton, and 32 is Jake Boyer. For New Haven, number one, Jakar Williams. Number three, Miles Harris. Number four, Jackson Turnwall. Number 11 is Tyler Harding. Number 23, Darion Brooks. And number one is Jakar Williams. This is Indiana High School basketball. We do play four eight-minute quarters here in the state. No shot clock in our state of Indiana, at least not yet. Blackhawk Christian will start with possession. The pull-up. From Lewis Jones, he can absolutely stroke it. I think he had four threes in the opener against Northside. Turnwall, that one a little bit short for the senior. As I mentioned, a lot of seniors and juniors on this club for New Haven. That's Davidson. Good look here to Boyer. Boyer, that's a good strong matchup right there with Boyer and Jakar Williams, two of the strongest basketball players in the area, no doubt about it. Blackhawk off to a 2-0 start with Boyer's first bucket. Brooks, top of the key, triple back rim, no good. Rebound Boyer, finds Sefton. Watch Cage Sefton and his improved handles. This kid has a ton of potential. Step, triple, buckets. I'm telling you what, Gage Sefton has proven a point this year early, and he's talking all about his game. I'm telling you what, tremendous start to his junior year. I mean, Coach Mark Davidson just absolutely loaded all the way down to their fifth and sixth grade that I have personally seen. I'm telling you what. They hand now. Miles Harris. Miles Harris can really get going as well. Good size, 6'5. He's got to post up on first, but Williams back rimmed on that triple try. Scar Williams, NAIA prospect of the football field. Not sure if he's committed to St. Francis. I know they're definitely recruiting him hard. Jones, Jimmy Davidson, the pull-up, 16-footer, beautiful. Blackhawk Christian out to an outstanding start, danger for the Bulldogs. Tyler Harding, he's your transfer from Snyder, and they're going to get a little bump foul on the dribble drive. That'll be the first one of the ball game against Blackhawk Christian, and they'll inbound baseline. Well, thanks for joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. Armstrong Arena, New Haven High School. Inbound to Brooks. Darion wants Williams on the post. They did a little pick and screen, a little roll. Finds Jakar. Jakar, left hand jump hook. That's money. Shows the strength and skill right there, does Jakar. Williams with the bucket. That's his first 7 7 2 our score. Boyer. 
Good look here. Can't get it to go. Harris with the board. The look ahead to Harding. Harding can shoot that rock as well. You got to come out on him. Here's Harris. Harding. Brooks. Triple. Just a little dribble to the left. A little short. Rebound Gage Sefton. Down low. And Josh first gets his first bucket. 9-2. Josh first. Great start to his season. Harding. Near steal. Oh, Brooks, that's the vision I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The pregame, it is tremendous. His IQ and basketball vision. Beautiful dime by Brooks. That was Harris with the bucket. That's his first. Davidson. Good job. Back cut to Sefton and a little miscommunication with him and Davidson. Sefton went for that back cut. It wasn't there, so he stopped his run. Davidson went with the lob, and out of bounds it goes. Inbound now to Harding. Just a three-day broadcast week next week. As it's oh, Boyer, the strength, and Brooks is going to get a hit with the foul. Just face guarding there was Boyer. Comes up with a steal and gets a foul. They'll inbound here right below us. At mid court. Big shout out athletic director Andrew Wagner. Always an outstanding host at New Haven High School. Boyer lost his footing, got it to Lewis though. He's got a size advantage over Harding. And an outstanding recognition right there by number 24 in Lewis Jones, the senior. Once he got Harding on him, went right into the block. Couldn't get the bucket, but is fouled. Nine four, the count. Nothing on the first attempt. Jones, second, got it. Ten four, our score. Jones has one. Balance scoring here. All five starters have put a point on the board. For Blackhawk Christian as we're midway through. Brooks, strong take, can't get it to go. And Davidson with the high board. Finds Sefton. Sefton guarded by Harding. Sefton put it on the, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Gage Sefton's handles, wow. 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, what a prospect. Williams, that's big time. Jakar Williams answers it for his Bulldogs. He needed that one. Sefton. Now up by five are the Braves. Down low first. Comes out now to Jones. How about the defensive slide from Harris? But I think Williams got hit with a foul on the dig down. Yeah, he did. And Jones is going to go back to the line where he's one for two. Cash is on the first, second attempt. Rattles home. Three for four now is the senior, Lewis Jones. Harding, three minutes left in the quarter. Brooks. Bad spacing up top. Brooks, man to man, one on one. Kicks it out, Harris, extra pass, Harding. Good recovery defensively by the Braves. Harding, that's an outstanding take. Just heavy. Rebound by Sefton. Boyer. So strong. Jake Boyer takes the hit and the foul. He can make it a 10-point game with a free throw make and a conversion on the end one.
Boyer and one opportunity. Back rim, no good. Rebound to Carl Williams. Knocked away by Josh first. And then he'll pull out of there. Harris. Woo! Okay. Miles Harris showing you some absolute skill on the slithery take. Seven-point game. He's got three. Make it four. Lewis Jones can't answer. Williams with another strong board. Got to value this possession here for New Haven. That's number 12. Jeremiah Cottrell, the sophomore who's checked in, and we got a jump ball. It's going to stay at this end on the possession arrow. Also in for New Haven, number 10, JoJo Robertson, the junior. All five starters still in for Blackhawk Christian. 2.06 left in the quarter. Harris looking for Brooks on the lob. Lots of contact. Ooh. Couldn't get it. Brooks kept it alive. Loose ball. Who's coming out with it? Sefton to Josh first. First hangs and hits it off glass. Tremendous. Woo. Blackhawk Christian out and running. They're at 18 points. 145 left in the first. New Haven needs a bucket after a nice little run. New Haven's answered it. Harris. Yes. Miles Harris starting to get it going here, folks. He can fill it up. Seven points. Williams on the guard. Davidson bounces it to Sefton. Boyer set triple. Okay. Jake Boyer saying, I'm not just an inside player. He answers with the three. <laughs> Boyer's had a ton of minutes in his four years. Here for Coach Davidson. Williams guarded by Boyer. Skip pass. Robertson. Excuse me, Cottrell. Baseline. Good look here to JoJo Robertson. Couldn't get it. Williams with the offensive rebound. Good look. Baseline just lost the handle. Does regain it. Baseline dribble drive. Got caught in the air. Tried to find Brooks and thrown away. Knocked away, but Davidson comes out with it. They're going to slow it. 40 seconds on the clock. First, the kick. Back-to-back -back threes. Jake Boyer. Yes, sir. Jake Boyer lighting it up here, kids. Boyer has 10 of the 24. Are you serious? <laughs> Outstanding. 14 seconds. Williams. Harris. Williams wants it back. Gets it. Williams. Tax. Good look down low. Hanks can't get it. Harris with the putback at the buzzer. Tremendous finish of the quarter for Miles Harris. He has nine, but that's the end of one. 24 14, your score. We'll be right back. You're watching Indiana High School basketball right here from SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school, some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal House. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Start of our second quarter, Blackhawk Christian with possession. Sefton to Boyer, one touch pass, Davidson, another jumper, no good, rebound Williams, he's got a handful, the outlet, does fine, JoJo Robertson, but swatted by Jones, here comes Sefton, the bounce pass to first, ooh, not a good look right there, he wanted that back as soon as he threw it, Harris, a little inside out dribble, took a bump, 
Comes to Robertson. Williams wants the three ball. That one short. Comes to Brooks. Darion just inside the three. Bucket. Darion Brooks cuts it to an eight-point game. Skip pass. Jones. Triple. No. Williams. Another rebound. Whew. Just swallowing up all the boards down there. Great stuff. Harris, now Williams. Now you hear a New Haven fan talking about move. They look very stagnant there, and it leads to a turnover. The steal. Slows it. There's JoJo Robertson, picked up by Davidson. Brooks pops out, he wants it. Six and a half minutes, eight point game. Brooks and Williams looking on a two man game. Harris wanted it, finds it in the corner. We'll step back, triple try, no. Williams, skip pass, and that went through the netting, threw off the vision. It was there for JoJo, but right through the hands goes out of bounds. And our first substitution for Blackhawk Christian is going to be number 34, Clay Pickett. And back in for New Haven is number four, Jackson Turnwald. Pickett, Boyer, Sefton, triple. And uh-oh, something happened with Pickett. He hurt himself, I'm not sure. If he rolled his ankle or what happened, I took my eye off it. It looks like, yeah, he's trying to walk it off. And it just checked in. That, that just sucks, to be honest with you, for a youngster who just checks in a ball game. So they'll bring in number 12, Isaac Smith. He's a sophomore. And, yes, 6'3". <laughs> Every player they bring out is 6'1 or taller. Turn wall. Oh, that was halfway down. My Harris had it knocked away. But I like to start by Miles Harris. Sefton. Boyer. Good double team by Robertson. Nearly led to a throwaway. Good look right there. Smith finds first. Back to Smith. Sets his feet for the three. That one, no. Rebound Harris. Finds Jakar. They're going to slow it. Five and a half. Now the turn up here to turn wall from the parking lot. That one was short. And look at the athleticism of Brooks. And gets it. Oh, couldn't hit the bunny. And here comes Blackhawk Christian. They can push on this 11-point lead. It's their largest. Good pass right back to Sefton. Gage Sefton's about to make a statement in his junior year here, folks. 30-16. Wow. Sefton now with 11, just like that. Got a pair of triples. Difference right there. You hit the deck, you come out with it. Did Josh first, now Boyer. And Jakar Williams just the silly foul. Just put his shoulder there without trying to stop the shot. And Boyer with the and one opportunity again. Boyer now with 12. And timeout. Called by New Haven. And we'll step away real quick here. You're watching Indian High School Basketball from SummitCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolfer, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. 
This is your IHSA. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. Armstrong Arena, 439. Left in the second quarter, 32-16. Right now, Blackhawk Christian doubling up on New Haven. This big fellow's been a big reason why. 12 points for Jake Boyer. Can make it 13 with a make. That one halfway down out, and Josh first. Put back is good. Josh first, tremendous offensive rebound. In for New Haven is number five, Martin King. He's a 6'5 senior. Also in is number 22, Mylon Graham. That one no good. Rebound, Davidson finds Sefton. Sefton, one of Boyer. They got the size advantage a little high on the lob, and Boyer could not knock it off a New Haven player, and it goes out of bounds. Opportunity here for New Haven. They got a stop, now need a bucket, followed by a stop. You get right back in this ball game. Midway through this second quarter. King, cut off. Found Harding, 17-foot jumper, no good. Rebound Sefton. Coach Stevens wanted a foul, may have had a gripe. And swatted by Miles Harris. Maybe that can get him going a little bit here, folks. First. Oh, couldn't get the bunny. Boyer with the offensive rebound. Still no. The tap back comes all the way out to Graham, the sophomore. Bounce pass to Brooks and just forcing some passes right now is New Haven. Davidson. Three ball, Sefton. That one long. Rebound, Harris. 3.15 remaining. Comes near side. Harding lost his footing. Three ball for Harris. That one, no. Comes to Boyer. Now Sefton back to Boyer. 2.45 remaining. They won it first on the block. Not there. 34-16. First is battling down there with Harris, who's playing good post D. Now they do get it to first. And what do we got? Offensive foul. Miles Harris took it. It'll go back to New Haven. 34-16, 2.33 left. Brooks will look to inbound here to Harding. Baseline, Brooks, hangs, hits. Got it. Darion Brooks. Sefton. Josh first. Good cut by Smith. There it is again. Josh first. That's outstanding offensive execution by Blackhawk Christian. 34-18. Excuse me, 36-18. Yeah, that one out of bounds. Brooks faces up, pull up, jumper. That is pretty. Little baby run. Cut it to 16 now. Did the Bulldogs need another stop? 140 left in the quarter. Can't get it. There's the stop. Brooks comes down with it. Pull up again. Shooters roll. Darion Brooks rolling right now. He's got nine.
Boyer. Oh, great hands by Harding. Graham back to Harding. Three ball from the wing. Big. Can't get it. And look at the offensive or the board from first. Out to Davidson. Davidson. Good job by Harris to get a piece of it. But Davidson finishes with that strength. Harding. Brooks. That one short. Rebound Sefton. Sefton. 30 seconds left. Davidson. Again on the block. I like how the refs are letting him play. Great hands. Great hands by Martin King. Gets a steal. And then runs the floor. Lost his footing. Knocked away by Josh first. Yeah, good call by this official baseline. The official hustled all the way down, and that was a great call. 16.1 remaining in the quarter. Referee finally tracks down the ball. Brooks in the corner. Looking to inbound. He does to Harris. 14 seconds. Over to Harding. Harding, well, has he? Another one. Graham, that's a big, that was partially blocked by Sefton. What can't Gage Sefton do? Uh, that one just wide, but that's our halftime break. What a half from Blackhawk. Christian New Haven battled back a little bit towards the end of that second quarter, but the Braves go in with a 16 point lead. We'll come right back, right here live from Summit City Sports. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today.
I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me. So I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels. We did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division Three, Division Two, or Division One level. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Parkview Sports Medicine, where it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only athletic, athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Big Eyed Fish have been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment, the Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Seal Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, energy diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union. We'll get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at profedcu.org. At Out and Water Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind to their entire process from bid to build. Visit OutandWaterContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. 
Anderson Heating and Air Conditions, dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. I cryo specialize in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpt, and cryo facials and infra infrared sauna and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping to get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial water damage and state-of-the-art services throughout Northeast Indiana. We'll be right back with our second half, SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Third quarter action. Blackhawk Christian up by 16 to start this second half. What a ball game. Jake Boyer, Gage Sefton, both in double figures. Boyer with 12. Sefton has 11. They're the two leading scorers for their club. Nine points for Darion Brooks and nine points for Miles Harris. They lead their squad. Brooks, can he get going in this third? That Lewis. As, and the bank is open here on a Friday evening for Gage Sefton. 40-22. And whistle baseline. Brooks in the paint, hangs. Yeah, he gets it in there with five feet. Count it. Brooks with a nice move and finish. The look here to Davidson. He's got a little plug in the nostril. Must have took a hit to the schnoz. Oh, great hands from Miles Harris. Knocked it away, and Williams comes with it. The step through, Boyer knocked it away, but Brooks didn't watch, hustled, but couldn't get it. And Davidson with the board and the leak out. Now to Sefton. Sefton to first. First, and yeah, good no call. Absolutely great no call down low. First with the layup. Williams, strength. Can't get it to go, but he's going to go back to the line. Williams has five. Foul on Josh first. That's his second. Williams. Big time free throws. Cuts it back to a 16 point deficit, 623. Left to go in the third quarter. The problem is New Haven has got to get multiple stops in the row, in a row. Well, this Blackhawk Christian Braves offense has executed tremendously. Here's Jones, baseline. They left him a little heavy. And first comes with it. Sefton, extra pass Boyer. Blocked by Brooks, but a foul. 
That's going to be three shots coming for Jake Moyer. That was a two. And Boyer uh, does get that one. And whistle. Uh, this is back up to an 18-point lead. Officials talking about something here. Okay, it was three. Uh, I didn't think I was losing my mind. I mean, he was definitely be, be behind the arc. Yeah, it's definitely a three-point shot. And can't get it, though. Oh, just give it away. First, a lot of space in that paint. Can't get it. Look at that second jump, though. Fights through the traffic and finishes. 20-point game. First is a force down low. He's got 12. Harding. Turn, or excuse me, Smith. Or Harris, excuse me. Harris can't get it. Danger here. Five minutes left, 20 point game. There's Blackhawk Christian, now finds Boyer. Great setup. Wow! Lewis Jones drains the triple. Blackhawk Christian absolutely rolling here, folks. Four and a half left. No shot. They're going to call it before, before the shot. Inbound to first. And near and one. First is going to go back to the line. Go to the line, Josh first goes. Second attempt. 423. Converts on the second. 50-26 is our score. Leading the way for Blackhawk Christian. 14 points is Jake Boyer. Harding can't get that one to go. Rebound comes to Davidson. Finds Sefton. Sefton has Davidson on this near side. Davidson not looking at the three ball. Dribble drive for Jones. Took a hit and finishes. Outstanding stuff. It was Jones showing you the skills and the strength. And out of bounds, it'll stay at that end. The lob down low, Boyer steals, Jakar Williams knocked it away. Gets it back, ball fake, can't get it, tip no good, and comes to Josh first. 
Now Sefton. Sefton, three. That one, no. Rebound. Pulled away from Bro by Brooks. Harris, now back to Brooks. Brooks, good take to the cup. He's going to go to the line. Brooks. Free throws, good. Second attempt coming. It's the second. So Brooks hits both. He now has 13 to lead the Bulldogs. Loose ball. Just been one of those nights. Blackhawk Christian getting all to all the loose balls. Down low to Sefton. Oh, good use, but Tremendous defense, team defense. Brooks. Same thing with that. Forced Brooks with a tough shot. And I think we got a whistle. There might be blood on the shorts of Josh first. So they'll get a sub in. It will be number 12, Isaac Smith, the sophomore. Or Coach Mark Davidson. Dribble from Jones, Harding, great defense though. Loose ball, Jones comes out with his own board, still loose, Davidson picks it. Finds Sefton, wide open three from the top of the key and just count it, folks. Gage Sefton on a mission statement in his junior year, drains another three ball. He now has 16 points and timeout called by New Haven. 30 second timeout, we'll step away real quick right here live from SummitCitySports.com. There are tons of benefits to using compression therapy, but my favorite are speeding up muscle recovery, reducing swelling and inflammation, and improving my athletic performance. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another time out, New Haven with the ball. Got it. Robertson, 4-3, cuts it down. Down low, Boyer, and they're going to get a jump ball. Good defense to come with the double team. Robertson and Harding. Davidson finds Boyer. Back to Davidson. Can't get it. Rebound New Haven. And JoJo Robertson. Jakar Williams, three. Short, no good. And that's last touch by Gage Sefton. Good hustle by JoJo Robertson to keep that alive. Well, Miles Harris has been quiet in the second half. 
He was New Haven's leading scorer to go into the break. Williams. It's on the first. 23 point game. And Williams, second attempt is good. 22 point lead, he'll check out. Checking in is Martin King for the Bogs. 119 left to go in the third quarter. Boyer at the block, cut off. Found Smith, no good, but he has fouled on the three-point shot. That's the second foul on a three ball. And to the line, Isaac Smith, the sophomore. Second attempt. Can't get that one. Third one, fourth coming. And Brooks back in for Harris. And does hit two out of three. Back to a 24 point lead. One minute left in the third quarter. Brooks backs it out. Fills out the D in the paint. Good vision in the corner. Cottrell can't get it. Davidson, 40 seconds. About Boyer. Can't get it. Sefton looking for a foul. Wasn't there. Harding. Robertson. Robertson took a bump. Good board. Oh, Cottrell missed it. Missed opportunity. Sefton and Smith just can't get that left-handed layup. Now comes Brooks. Big time. Robertson, another three. 21-point deficit. It's five seconds left. Sefton wants it over Brooks. Back rim no good. Brooks gets it. And yeah, that would have been good if it went. But not enough. And that will be the end of our third. Nice little run for New Haven. But Blackhawks still up 21 points. We'll be right back. SummitCitySports.com. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids been able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division III, Division II, or Division I level. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. Armstrong Arena. 1-0 Blackhawk Christian traveling in, in, in here to New Haven to take on the 0-2 New Haven Bulldogs. And Blackhawk Christian has shot lights out. Second chance opportunities as well. They have had an outstanding game here tonight in Bulldog country. Darion Brooks, it's the bucket, 57. 
38 as Brooks now with 15 points and the leak out. Oh, just couldn't get it. They could have cut that down to 17. Missed opportunity. They say no shot. And timeout called by the Braves. 30-second variety. We'll stay right here. This broadcast brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pre-K through eighth grade. Holiday Hoops basketball development camp. Shooting, dri dribbling, passing defense. Always there, always 100. Register at always100basketball.com or questions, you can contact 260-446-3251. That starts December the 20th and runs through the 23rd. They're at Sport One Fieldhouse. So out of the timeout, 713 remaining in this ball game. And they'll inbound to Boyer, excuse me, first, and a jump. Nice job by Jakar. By Jakar Robinson, to jo or JoJo Robinson, Jakar Williams to tie him up. No inbound, baseline, Will Davidson. First, Boyer, good ball show. One dribble pull up, come on. Jake Boyer, what a game he's having. He's now got 16, him and Sefton both with 16. But he has been a difference maker since the very beginning of this ball game. Davidson with the rebound. 6.45 left. Hello, another three ball. Wow, Jake Boyer with 19. Kid is insane here tonight. Brooks, that's now with 17. He leads his Bulldogs. Oh, couldn't answer. Could Davidson first? He's so strong underneath. Oh, they got an offensive foul on them. Ooh. Williams. Robertson. He's played well off the bench. Three. Harding. Buckets. Tyler Harding hits a three. 19 point deficit, 540 left. Creeping, creeping back in. See if they can get a stop. Sefton, turn around, jumper, no. Oh, that was two Blackhawk Christian Brave players. Uh, that's gonna be a foul on Martin King. First, Josh first. Another outstanding ball game. He can hit the first of two. He's got 13 points. It does get that one to fall. Back to a 20 point lead and Seft in a near steal, but it came to Harding. Harding baseline cut off. Right back to him, that's a baseline three, got it! 
Tyler Harding. Well, New Haven starting to heat up from deep, but cannot get multiple stops has been the issue. Lewis Jones. Floater, no. Battle for the rebound. Comes to Jones. Finds Sefton. Another wide open three. That's money. Woo! Gage Sefton. Unconscious, folks. He's got 19. At least four threes. There might be five threes. I think it is five threes. Williams. Bucket. Four twenty. That was King on the bucket. And a near steal. King couldn't pull out with it though. The jumper Jones, that's a two. Back to a 20 point lead. And another three for Harding. And timeout on the floor. 69 51. We'll step away real quick. Summit City Sports. Dot com. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Blackhawk Christian winning 69-51, midway through this fourth quarter. And that's going to be last touch by New Hape. Oh, they got a foul on Darion Brooks, and that's the seventh team foul. Blackhawk Christian's going to head this way for the one and one. First one. Does hit the front end of the one and one. We'll get a second attempt. Will Sefton. Sefton with 19. Can't get it. Rebound comes to Darion. King. Right hand jump hook. No good. And just can't get a bucket after getting that stop. Sefton. They wanted to travel, did the Bulldogs. Boyer didn't force it. Finds Davidson. Davidson, three and a half. Sefton, Boyer, the lob. Just too heavy for first. And it will go out of bounds. Corner, Harding. Brooks. Another impressive game from Brooks. He's got 17. Sefton. The layup, good. Good attack from JoJo Robertson. 16-point deficit, 235 left. Sefton, he's got 20 points. Boyer, they want to screen, they switch it. Sefton, 
His handles can't say it enough how impressive the progression has been in one year. Got it. Down low did Josh first. <laughs> Another front runner in class 2A this year. Coming off the state title win last year. After losing a ton of players, the trio of Marcus Davidson, Caleb First, and Zane Burke, all playing college basketball. Plays it. Sefton. Makes it a 21-point game. Sefton now with 22 points himself. Slow it. Now Seft in. First. Davidson. Seft in. No. That one halfway down. And look at Josh first. Right there. Just don't put it on the deck. Jones. Three. Bings it home. Lewis Jones for three. 77 53. We're under a minute. Slam! Gage Sefton with the exclamation point here for Blackhawk Christian. Wow. What a game. What a absolute beauty as Blackhawk Christian will take a timeout and we'll step away real quick. SummitCitySports.com. You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com. Gage Sefton leading the way with 24 points. Jake Boyer with 19. Josh First with 17. And Lewis Jones with 13. You get four double scores on your squad. <laughs> four out of the five starters. That's You're going to be hard to beat. For New Haven, Darion Brooks leading the way with 17 points. And Miles Harris just could not get anything going here in the second half. He's going to finish with nine. And Tyler Harding hit a couple of threes. So did JoJo Robertson with eight. Flutter, no good. 30 seconds left. Bunch of subs in here for. That's a freshman, Kellen Pickett, 6'8 player. Watch for him in the future. Also in, number 10, John Jones. He's a junior. There's the steal by the freshman, Kellen Pickett. Number one is Troy Kelly. He's a junior. Number 10 is John Jones, as I mentioned. Who am I missing? Number five is Micah Thomas, a senior, and they're going to keep Jake Boyer in there with that club that won't go rebound and that will do it so blackhawk christian will get their second win of the season with a 79 53 winner parkview sports medicine players of the game we're just going to give it to jake boyer jake boyer 19 points was outstanding defensively and on the rebounding, tremendous game for Jake Boyer and the Blackhawk Christian Braves. They win it 79. Go ahead and sign off for the week for myself as we've had an outstanding week of high school basketball. Until next week, for Thomas Nolan, I am Tim Atkinson. You've been watching Indiana High School Basketball from SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, 
Nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me. So I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling. In the last five years, we had over 200 kids been able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division III, Division II, or Division I level.
I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal Housing Lender.